Hey everyone, we're back with uh, Ben Jen's Architects of Tomorrow deck. Find ourselves up against Wizard. And the opening hand isn't great because there's no ice at all. Again, we're not too sure what type of wizard we're coming up against. Could be Pack and Siphon. Uh, could be just unpleasant. Uh, this isn't great for us either. Um, we could stick... Oh, we can't really do much with this. We could try Scarcity Resources and just install the two... Ice, but it leaves us quite poor. I think we install scarce or do this. Install this on HQ. It's just not a good position to be in. Um, now let's just do ice, ice, and take a credit. It's not great for us, um, but we can res both thanks to our ID ability. They probably won't run at this anyway, so that's useful. Uh, they did take a mulligan. Hasn't been the greatest start for them, and unfortunately they get wild set down. But we can get this down next and make it harder to do the good old adjusted color type. Um, would they run an Adonis? Probably. Oh, that's not good. Uh, this and take a credit again. So at least now if they want to get down their other resources that they do depend upon, uh, we'll be able to make it more expensive for them. And they're not flush with cash at the moment either, so this has worked out pretty well for us. Just a prototype will now cost them five, so that is, that is pretty good for us. And they're going to have to... Oh, rumor mill. Nice. That works. Things getting unpleasant here. Um, I think we just credit up. Put down the Adonis. We probably won't get to use it. But might distract them. We can buy out a go to beta test. And maybe fire it. Sports Hopper. So they're very, very poor. And they still haven't found all the... Ooh, Film Critic. Another scarcity resources. <sighs> Do we fire a beta test? I think we give it a go. We have four agendas in hand. I think we might as well. The good old always be firing approach. Um, because we do have a lot of good ice here, and if we get any of it, it's really, really good for us. So let's do it. Wow, that is as bad as it could have been. Oh well. Ah, live by the beta test, die by the beta test. So instead, next turn we are just taking credits. How exciting! We can go for the scarcity of resources again if we want to. They still have to get their chronotype down. Although they are trashing quite a few resources as well. I'm playing two film critics, so Siphon is probably off the table. Cutlery, however, is not. Um, do we just take two, take three? because we cannot defend anywhere else. And in fact, even resing ice here is bad for us, as was pointed out in the previous video. Now, unless you can res both pieces of ice with the ID ability, you're kind of wasting it. Eater. Hmm. That signifies that siphon could be back on the table. Wow, this is just going horribly for us. And unfortunately, all of our ice is very, very clickable. So, drawn up a huge amount, obviously looking for chronotype. 
turntable and cloth. So we won't get be getting food out anytime soon. Ichi could be good. Um, I think we just credit credit scarcity again. It's not ideal, but I think it's what we have to go for at this stage. And rumor mill back again. So this game has turned into quite a slog for us. Mm, we're not in a great place. We really need economy. And Jackson does nothing for us now either. Um, and pop this out here and credit up again. But we are going way, way too slow for what we need. So if we res this, we can get Eli for free. But we do want to be able to obviously advance and score out the next turn as well. Hmm. So Subliminal is great. That gets us up. So we can install this, take two credits, leave us at 11. And we will have just enough to do everything we need. So let's uh, do that. Now, if we get a siphon or something like that, we're in a bad spot. But hopefully, hopefully we can come through this. Get this scored. We probably won't fire it, even though we have a lot of good ice to come. But got stung just there, so I think I think not. So let's raise this. Force them to either spend a lot or double click and take the trace. And then we get to use Eli as well. So they're gonna use Eater. So maybe we now what piece of ice do we want to raise? We can get a fair child for free. Um because they can't run through here again. So maybe we keep this. They can't access here. If they run again they can click click, but they won't have enough, so I think we just go with the fair child instead. So that worked out pretty well. They may have a forked, in which case this <laughs> may not live too long, but we are getting our better tests out. Clear the room mill again. But economy is really, really suffering. Uh, ditching the hedge fund early and not having ice for the Adonis. Definitely a hurt. But at least we'll be at four points. Then the trick is getting out global food. Why couldn't the Ichi have shown up earlier? Let's score this and let's let's not. Let's not give them another easy couple of points. So R and D is gonna be fair game to them at the moment. So if they have a medium, now is the time for them to... Well, okay, keyhole it is. That makes sense. That's why the eater is there. Of course, it had been quite a while since I've played against eater keyhole. And now we're in a bit of a bind. So had we fired that beta test, we would have lost another Vitruvius. There goes some economy. And they're going to just take the Vitruvius, which is fair enough. Uh, 
So as for us, we can't really protect against this. We can get Ravana, and we can get up to two credits, but that is not enough. Archived gets us not much as well. So I think we just install the Jackson as a distraction, if nothing else. But I mean, with only two credits, not a lot we can do here. And they could, of course, fire another rumor mill. But this is about the only option we have at the moment. Hmm, they're not going to go for it. Because at least if they had run here, we could have rezzed the Fairchild. Here goes the beta test. Now, are we going to see a rumor though? I'm going to sit here right over the Jackson. There we go. With the with the win in there, has to be done. And let's go with the Adonis. Just in case the head rumor mill. Hmm. Thought they would have gone again. So let's get the Adonis into <sighs> server three. Let's get rid of this, I think. Put Ravana in instead and take another credit. At least it's somewhat expensive. But they are not short of money. We cannot score this, or we cannot uh, res this Adonis just yet. So, a tough spot. Especially with the two more agendas in hand. Two hedge funds gone. Not fun. So they can spend or click click. They haven't thrown away. Well, they've thrown away one spoon. But probably have another. Now they have to spend or break through this, because otherwise we use Ichi. And possibly a brain damage as well. No, no, no. <laughs> we we shall be choosing these subroutines. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So at least we cost them a bit of money, and we got a free Eli as well. But I still think this deck could use a little more economy. Lose a biotic. Possibly going to be a spoon here soon as well. At least cost them five. It's not, not cheap to go through. Same old thing, same old thing. Can we get <laughs> anything small in front of Ravana? Nope, we cannot. So, taking credits it is, but at least we have an archive memories. So, if needs be, we can put it out again. But, same old thing is a worry. Hmm. 
I assume you go same one thing spooned here. Oh, regular spooned. Regular spooned, click through, and then you can keyhole once. Oh man, we needed that. We still can't afford to res the Adonis. And we lose a Jackson as well. So we can credit it up to five. Ah, oh, we are on our last legs, really. Marcus isn't great. Ichi is better. They haven't used a fork yet. Oh dear. If we install this up top, we end up on two, just short. Yeah, we are in trouble here. We can keep spending down to zero. It's not great. Now, thankfully, they are having their own economy issues. So we'll see how aggressive they want to be here. I mean, with the amount of biro dice that they've seen, they can run early on and get through pretty much anything. I'm not sure what they're drawing for with so few cards left in their stack. Career fair. That'll sort out the economy issues then. But we're finally going to get our Adonis online. And Film Critic. So, there is an NAPD in this deck. Which would be very, very good for them. And we got a subliminal back. Everything's coming up our way now. So we could put Marcus on top of this. And credit up. We could put Fairchild up here. So we need one for this. We need one for the install. So if we install credit, credit. Gives us enough to do either Ichi or Marcus. Hmm. Ichi is the more expensive for them. So we install, we go down to four. Take two is six. Just enough to get both online. And we've done this taken away as well. So maybe. It's a little dicey, but we'll see how we can get on here. And we still have to worry about clot as well. Because I mean we can soon archive for biotic. Assuming they don't run anytime soon. Fairchild 2.0 has done a fair bit of work. They just haven't really bothered checking HQ at all. I suppose when you are using Eater as your primary breaker, it's not the most tempting way to go. And Keyhole better served over here as well. So while Spooned is an option here, um, they seem more focused on R&D. Mm, 
and they get rid of a forked in a clot. So we could, in fact, purge here. They've just thrown away another clot. Um, or we can try and build just a super server. So put Fairchild 3 over here. They're probably not running through that. This on HQ. This on server 3. And take a credit. So money is still still tight. But we are waiting on another Adonis, I believe, and some launch campaigns as well. And they are coming for HQ. So they could same old thing forked here if they wanted to. And that's not necessarily the worst idea in the world. And we might as well get the other one raised at least. That was kind of weird. Not sure what happened there, but anyway. Yeah, they're looking more likely to hit here. Yep, there goes a beta test. At least we'll keep our Ichis for one more turn. But again, look at our bank balance. This is why ensuring the future is always the preferred option. So, they need one more. We need to get rid of Clot. And we need to be able to money up. It's still an NAPD to find. Plus, I think there's another food. But in all honesty, as soon as the first beta test completely whiffed, I wasn't feeling in a great place about this uh, this deck. Hmm. a little late for the launch campaign to be coming out. Um, maybe we just purge here. Gives them a free turn, but I think we have to do it. We can still res this. We can't res this with it, though. Yep, sure enough, there's the fort. And are they going to click through the entire thing? No. Well, they've left themselves a credit short, so yeah, they do have to click through the, the whole lot. Um, yeah, one short, so we'll give them that click. Social games, anyway. Um, so, yeah, that'll hit. Now, hold on. I should get my 
One, one sec. Oh god. I should get my ID once you pass EG. So that'll get me the Marcus for free. Because they would have passed it to trash it. No, clicking does nothing. So we're going to res this and put ourselves up four. Four. Nice and easy math. Um, hmm. I did not see this debate. Well, to fork it, you would have had to pass it. So I think this is legit. But if you've seen something different, huh? Hmm. Interesting. That is an interesting one, actually. Forked is make a run. The first time you break all subroutines. Hmm. Okay, well, I think I'll derez my piece of ice then. And now, I think it may be time to slam. It may actually be time to go with. Hmm. I think we do launch campaign. I think we do Eli here. And maybe archived for biotic. Get for three. See if we can pull this out. I would have liked to do this a turn earlier. Unfortunately, we're just a little too poor to try and push through with this. Although, maybe it's one of those, you know, fortune favors the brave. This is a difficult server as is to break. Yeah, now that I've uh, clicked and turn, I feel I should have gone for it. They basically can't get through this server. So it's this server that they have to target. So we're going to be up at 8 credits. No, we are too poor. So we get some little subliminal. Um, we can archive for another biotic, but that does not much for us. Alternatively, we stick another piece of ice up here. We can archive for Jackson and put that out here with Fairchild is the only piece of ice we have. We could draw, Ar mm, no. So Archive Jackson removes a, tur a click from them, which at least makes it more difficult for them to say one thing forked or anything like that. So I think we do that, I think we archived Get the Jackson. Stick the Jackson out in a new remote and just take a credit. And now we are kind of hoping for the best. Of course, they can say one thing, rumor mill. But yeah, it seems more worthwhile for them to do anything else. Um, biotic, just in case. So next turn we'll be up at 12. They've installed Dailycast, 
So this gives us a window. So 12 credits. We spent 6 to res this. So we'll have to install advance. Bring us to 11. This brings us to 5, so we are just short. We have Ravana, which is probably a good option. If we install here, it costs us 2, brings us to 10. We can get up to 12. This gets us to 14. Are they going to run through this? They can't, well, as we saw the last game, um, you can just, you know, run through all the trashing everything and lose everything, which means the server isn't quite as good as we need it to be. Fairchild is weakness. <coughs> so, we could trash this, put Ravana out there. And at least then they have to break it because then we can throw, we can use Eli as the sub. Um, brings us to 10 and then up to 12 again. So install, install advance is 10, 9. If we res it, it brings us to 6. Which is just short of what we need. So maybe we trash Ichi as well. It saves us a credit. Or do we just wait a turn? So in this instance, this is your crossroads. This is your fork in the road. What would you do? I think we just trash everything here. Install, bringing us down to 11. Install advance is 10. Resin this brings us to 7, which is... We need biotic and 4 advances. We need 8. Oh, I think we need to wait a turn. As sickening as it is. Biotic, 4 is 8. Ah, oh dear. So instead, we're just going to be taking three credits, which is really unexciting. Install the pants. Yep, I think we're just doing the really boring. Take three. Mm, we can res both of these anyway. This will run out. We can install advance. We're ready for biotic. Yeesh. But unfortunately, it gives them another turn and seven credits with which to do whatever they want. does it. So we could lose 5 here bringing us down to 10. This gets us to 12. If we res here it brings us to 11. Um, and then down again, which isn't great. But alternatively, if they are holding on to more siphons, of course they've got the same old things, so I think we do have to res here. It's going to cost them three to get through this. And four here, or clicks. Or of course they can go with the trash one of their cards. At this stage they have Wild Side Chronotype. Um, 
turntable. They have any number of things they want. They could trash. Oh, they're going to trash, or they're going to break both. Uh, let's res our Eli, because it's kind of the only one we want. This costs them four more. Oh, now they are trashing stuff. Now, are they going to prevent tags? Same old things are really the only things that they want to keep at this stage, because that is an endless supply of siphons. Play knifed. Uh, suddenly they have all the answers in hand. And in fact, they could same old thing forked here as well if they wanted to. Okay, they're not going to. Hmm. Fair enough. So we're at eight. We. Could stick the batty up here. Although, do we need it for siphon? Well, yes is the answer, obviously. Um, I think we just have to stick the trophies in and see what happens. So yeah, we've left same old thing Siphon. In fact they have it in hand as well. Batty perhaps better on HQ, but we would have only been able been able to stuff one of those. And we will be able to res Ravana for free anyway, which is quite nice. Now they have much fewer things that they can trash. City Hall, I suppose. Film Critic. Yep, turned out to make sense as well. But we still have just enough to be able to potentially wreck them here. Now, do we want to take out Eater or Keyhole? Keyhole seems the more pressing one. So, on approach we can res, fire the trash one program, and I suppose hit Eater. Spooned, yep. Wait, 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 wait. So, we can't end the run 
Oh, we can. We can. We can. And in fact, they don't have clicks, so we are playing for the trash program here. I really wish I had a dice by the computer. Um, let's spend two. Hmm. <laughs> oh well. And that is probably it then. And this is why I tend not to play Psy Games for two. Because if we managed that there, it would have been a whole different kettle of fish. Trash eater, eater trash key all. And slowly, slowly grind out. But instead we are pretty much stuck clicking for credits and waiting on the inevitable, I think. Next turn they can say one thing forked, they can say one thing siphon. They can kind of do whatever they need to do. And this is the issue with Architects of Tomorrow up against um, something, anything playing Ice Destruction, is you're giving them way too much knowledge. And they know exactly what they need to do. And they can easily break through and tr and trash all your good things. Uh, we won't res any pyroid ice here. So presumably these two keyholes, or one keyhole, will seal the deal. So they have one more. And that, oh, never mind, we're, we're in with a shot. So is there, is there last card rumor mill? They have two played. It's unlikely they'd play another. Oh dear, this game's killing me. If Rumor Mill's their last card, then, you know, they got me. So, send back NAPD, send back Batty, and send back... Um, Ravana's always good. But we're just stalling ourselves out at this stage. It has been an arm wrestle and a half. And they get our baddie. So we survive another turn, but what can we do? Okay, next turn is going to be just score of Vitruvius, I suppose. They can get one keyhole off here. Good chance of hitting something that they need. <laughs> they do have the knife. The knife is the last card that they hold. So it's going to be triple keyhole, and that is, or double keyhole at the very least, and that's probably all she wrote.
Wow. So it's Tall Ravana again. Oh, jeez. And we got a launch campaign, which isn't quite what we need, but it's decent. God, this has been this has been a struggle and a half. So unfortunately, they can't click through here. Um, but at least it limits them to one keyhole run. But presumably, they get something here. There it is, global food. So quite the arm wrestle. We had to deal with a lot of different threats at the same time, and it was tough going. Uh, Architects tomorrow is always going to suffer in a ice destruction world. Um, when they know what they have to do for color events and things like that, um, it makes it much, much easier on them. You know, they held things on till great timing, like the last knife in hand, uh, the forks were well timed, all that, and they kept the siphon until the very, very end as well. Batty, unfortunately, let us down. That could have been a great hit, but uh, it was quite the game. I hope you all enjoyed, quite the struggle, and hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.